Hi guys and welcome to a new video, today I have Samsung Galaxy Note 4 with me and today we are going to install and review the Lineage OS 14.1 Android 7.1.1 Nougat for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, so stay tuned for that. So this here is um, the international model of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, the Snapdragon variant, and this one uh, currently runs on Android 6.0.1, Android Marshmallow, and as you can see the model number is the SMN910F. So today we are going to install Lineage OS 14.1 to this device, which is basically Android 7.1.1, Android Nougat, and yeah, so now let's start. But before we start to install this ROM, there are some things which you need to do. So at the first place you need to install TWRP to your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Um, if you haven't done that already, you can watch some other videos on YouTube showing how to install TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. You also need to download the uh, ROM. I've already done that and you can also download the ROM from the description of the, with the link from the description of this video. So just download it. And you also need the G apps. So I've also downloaded the G apps. Um, yeah, so you can download them also from the description of this video. So right now let's start. So what we need to do at the first place is to power off your device, so let's do that. And after that we need to power on our device to the TWRP recovery. So as you know you need to press the volume up button, the home button and the uh, power on button at the same time for this. So let's do this. And here we are, so this is the TWRP recovery and the first thing you need to do is to go to the wipe option and just perform a wipe, so let's do that. After you have, uh, after the device has uh, done a factory reset or after you have wiped everything, you need to go to the install option here and locate the ROM where you have stored it. In my case it's in the internal storage here. Um, in the download uh, or uh, folder here and here uh, is the ROM Lineage OS 14.1 just press on it and just swipe the flash so this could take like two minutes maybe three minutes you just need to wait So the ROM flashed now, um, so the flashing process is completed and you can see that this has like error unknown comment or something like that, but, but this isn't a error, so you, need to do it. you don't need to worry about that. Um, right, so after that you can go back here and go to the install option again and install the G-Apps. So this here is the G-Apps, the Open G-Apps uh, ARM 7.1, I've downloaded the mini package, just press on it and swiped to flash it again and this could also take like two maybe three minutes again you just need to wait So the installing uh, process of the GFs is also completed now and now we can do a wipe again but you, but you actually don't need to do that, just uh, reboot to your system now and wait until, until the phone boots up. So the phone booted up now as you can see and it asks for your pin so let me give him my let me give him my pin here and here we are so this is the lock screen of lineage os and now let's set up the device here so this is the setup menu of lineage os android 7.1.1 let's uh, say next now here let's select english united oops united kingdom let's say next Setup is new. I will skip skip the uh, Wi-Fi now. Mm, 
next so it asks for your fingerprint but actually the fingerprint scanner is not working on this rom so this is something which you need to keep in mind so this is also the only bug in this rom um, so the fingerprint scanner is not working here so you, you should better, better skip this here and red So you got two launchers on board. You got the Tribuche launcher from the uh, from the ROM, and you also get the Google Now launcher, which comes with the GApps package. So I pre I would prefer to use the Tribuche launcher here. So let's say all this, and here we are. So this is Android 7.1.1 on the Galaxy Note 4. So let me confirm you that first. So let's go into the settings for that, and here at the bottom you can see that it says Android 7.1.1. Let's get in there, and. So this is Android Nougat. And right, the device which I'm holding is the SMN910F. Um, as you can see, it is the Linux ROM. And right, so this is it's not. So this ROM is stock Android based, so it hasn't uh, to do anything with TouchWiz, so you won't get any TouchWiz feeling on this ROM here, so it's completely stock. Um, so you can see that the dialer is stock, everything is stock, notification panel is also the uh, notification panel from the stock Android here. Let me turn off the Wi-Fi here. And you can also see that you got this um, new animation here and you can also add some new toggles. For example, the uh, location here, but you also got uh, plenty of other toggles like the volume panel and all that, which is really nice. And yeah, now let's take a look at this ROM, what it includes and so on. So let's start. So first of all, let's take a look at the camera here. So the camera is working on this ROM just fine. So there are no big issues with it. As you can see, it works just fine. And here I have my physics homework. So let's take, try to take a picture of it with this ROM here. And as you can see, it uh, as you can see, it takes good pictures. You can read everything here, so there are no issues with the camera. The only issue which you get on this ROM is the fingerprint scanner. So the fingerprint scanner is not working on this ROM. Right. So now let's move on to the settings here, because almost all features are located there. So. Right, so this is the Android 7.1.1 settings with this dark uh, header here and this green icons. And yeah, of course, you get standard stuff like Wi Fi and all that, but in the display option here, you get something new. So there's something which is called ambient display. And this is basically um, this ambient, this feature um, opens your display when you get a notification. It's just like the always on display on the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, but it only uh, opens when you get a notification. Right, so now let's move on here. And yeah, so here you get something called display size. You can basically change the DPI of the whole system here. So if you can make it big here, and as you can see, everything will get bigger. And you can also make it really small here. So as you can see, everything has got smaller and you have more space now. But let's set it at the middle here. And now let's move on. You can do the same with the font here. So you can make the font bigger, you can make the font smaller. And yeah, so this is pretty much in, in the display option. Let's, let's move on now. And yeah, so there's something called buttons. So here you can um, change all the actions of the buttons, which is really amazing. You can also turn off the button backlight of the hardware buttons. So let's turn them off completely here. Um, and right, so under the home button, if you go to double tap action and if you say something like recent app switcher, you can see double press and it will go to the recent apps panel just like on iPhones. But you can also change the um, action here so you can choose uh, quite different uh, actions here just like um, voice search for example and if you double press it will open the Google um, voice search. So now let's move on here. You can do the same with almost all buttons with the recent button and even with the uh, volume button so you can wake the device with the um, volume buttons which is also really amazing. 
and yeah so now let's move on here so here are some different uh, things in the status bar option so you can basically customize the status bar you can turn off or turn on quick pull down for example if you say right you will get this quick pull down at the right side as you can see and you can also change the position of the clock you can um, set it at the left here you can also center the clock which is also really nice and you can also change the battery status style as you can see it's uh, a circle right now but you can also um, change it to a normal battery icon here which looks also really nice yeah, so now, so this is pretty much it here in the settings app, uh, Lineage OS is, hasn't got any big customization options, these are almost the all customizations which you get. And yeah, the ROM is, uh, overall, it's quite stable, so everything seems to work, except for the fingerprint scanner, and it is, uh, for me, it's even ready for being a daily driver, because I'm not using the fingerprint scanner. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much it, if you liked the video, give a thumbs up, if you didn't like the video, give it a dislike, and peace out.